We gotta do this again. What's your name? Dirt <laughs> Bell. <laughs> We've been reincarnated. Dirt Arena Bell suddenly feels really confident. She feels like she could get much stronger if she tries. Is she ready for this? What? Yeah, Dirt Arena's ready. Dirt Arena Bell channels her thoughts and focuses on unlocking her hidden potential. She suddenly feels an overflowing surge of power inside of her. Dirt Arena Bell is ready for anything that comes her way. The game will start now. Enjoy. I wonder what that changes. Sister, oh my god. Uh, okay. Let Lady Martha take it. Huh? Why? I don't understand. Didn't the queen have that dress made for Lady Tatiana? My, what a surprise. I'm curious why you said so as well. I have my reason. Lady Martha's going to Alista to marry said country's prince. You too, Lady Tatiana. You'll become the Palaveron prince's wife in two weeks. We all know the difference between Palaveron and Alista. Comparing to the prosperous Palaveron, Alista's a barren land. Life is hard there. Not to mention the strained relationship between our country and them. Lady Martha's life will always be at stake the moment she sets her foot in Aelista. At the very least, I want Lady Martha to be happy before she goes. Ha! Thank you for pointing that out, Dirtarina Bell. I've always cursed my bad luck, but it seems like it gives me the upper hand this time. <sighs> you can take whatever you want from me, Martha. You can even take away everything. But that dress... Too bad! It's the only thing I want. Why do you always have to be like this, Martha? Aren't we sisters? Why do you always want to make it difficult for me? Huh? Make it difficult for you? What are you talking about? Ugh. Alright, do whatever you want. Thanks, Tatiana! So, Dirtarina Bell? Yes, my lady? Have you made up your mind? After this, you'll have to go with either Martha or me. We've given you the right to choose. We've also given you plenty of time to think about it. What's your decision? Martha or me? Who do you choose to follow? Lady Martha, Lady Tatiana, I thought about it a whole bunch. And I... I'm gonna go with Lady Martha. Dude, Rena Bell, you're not gonna have a great time in Aelista. You understand that, right? I understand. That's why I chose to follow you, Lady Martha. Congratulations, Martha. I'm not going to complain because it's her choice. Because it also seems like the right thing to do. It's going to be quite lonely in Palaveron without Dirtarina Bell by my side, however. I feel the same. But I can't let Lady Martha be by herself without a friend in the middle of Aelista. I'm going to protect her from anything that threatens to harm her. But it's not like you'll be on your own, Lady Tatiana. I'll always pray for your safety and health. I'm pleased to hear that, Dirtarina Bell. Oh, I feel like I'm going to cry all over again. Silly Tatiana, don't cry. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm gonna cry too. Oh my god. Well, thank you, Dirtarina Bell, for choosing to go with me. Ugh, so you've chosen which princess you want to serve. With no hesitation. You never fail to surprise me, Dirtarina Bell. I've been thinking about it a lot. I might end up regretting it a little, but the princesses expect me to decide. I can't let them down. Ugh, I can never be as amazing as you. You're fine the way you are. Ugh, the headmate is calling me. I gotta go. Don't trip. La 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 la. Alright. Whoa, what is this? Uh... Oh my god, my stats are at max. What the shit? Okay. Uh, Alright, so now it's like, if you want to decrease stress so that you can go for the little sister. Right? That's what's going on here now. What is this? Hmm. Dirtarina Bell daydreamed about how she'd conquer the world? She would free the princesses from the loveless political marriages, but with this form, she can't do anything. Something is certainly lacking. What? She can't daydream forever. What? This is so weird. Nice weather today, huh, Dirtarina Bell? Yes, my lady. Perfect for frolicking with the kids from the villages around the castle. What's with the face, Dirtarina Bell? Aren't the children cute? Well, they are cute. They're just a little too energetic. If you don't like playing with kids, you don't have to come, my dearest. My apologies, Lady Martha. It's my duty as a maid to see your needs today. 
Lady Martha, Lady Martha, we had a flower crown. Oh my god, how precious. Put it on, put it on. <laughs> oh my god. All right, how do I look? Oh my god, you're so pretty, Lady Martha. <laughs> I'm flattered, thanks. We made one for you too, Maid Sama. How nice, put the flower crown on, Dirtarina Bell. I'm sure you'll look so kawaii. Um, put it on. Uh, um, children, I can put the flower thing on myself. Oh, please stop tugging at my apron. Oh, watch out! Dirtarina Bell tackled Princess Martha to the ground. An arrow flew over their heads. Uh, what the hell? Children, are you okay? Ah! Uh, they don't seem to be hurt. Anyway, it's dangerous. We can't stay here any longer. Let's leave the kids to the guards and head to somewhere safe, Lady Martha. All right. Ah, that was so dangerous. The assassin's been captured, so please rest assured. Lady Martha, are you hurt? I'm fine. How about you? Well, you don't have to worry about me, Lady Martha. I'm fine. Don't lie. I saw your left knee bleeding a moment ago. Let me see it. It's no, of no importance. It's fine. I can treat it myself later. All right, if you say so. Uh, in the end, I'm glad nobody got seriously hurt. Assassination attempts have almost become a daily part of my life now. Even Tatiana is not subjected to this kind of treatment. I wonder who I've pissed off. Lady Martha. Hmm. Well, enough with this depressing talk. I'm all tired and sweaty and stuff. Let's take a bath together, Dirtarina Bell. Okay, my lady, I'll go prepare the water right away. I said together. That means you have to strip too, Dirtarina Bell. <laughs> of course. You look happy. Well, that's because I'll get to see Lady Martha's gorgeous naked bod. The same applies to me. Whoa, are we already boner eating? <laughs> Princess Martha and Dirtarina Bell spend a lovely while together in the bath. Dang. We waste no time. Oh, yeah. Don't ask her where she got the book from. La 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 la. And then I sleep. Day two. Oh. Weird. That was so weird. Because before it was like either I sleep or I contemplate world domination? Question mark. Um, that would be an amazing end, by the way. All right, strength, stress. Cool. Oh! Oh dear, what happened? Why are you crying? Rachel took my doll. Why don't you ask her to return it? She'll hit me. And crying about it won't solve anything. Don't you want to get your dolly back? But I can't fight her. Lady Martha, tell Rachel to give back my dolly. Hmm, as much as I want to, that's not gonna do. I can tell her to give the doll back to you for now, but what are you gonna do if she does it again when I'm not here anymore? Lady Martha! Don't look at me with those eyes, Dirtarina Bell. I'm here, my princess. I brought Michelle with me too. It's not Michelle, I'm Rachel. Shut your trap, do I look like I care? <laughs> Damn. Listen up, you'll cause Lady Martha even more headaches if you don't solve your problems now. So let's decide who gets to keep the doll through a wrestling match and just get it over with. A <laughs> wrestling match? But it's my doll in the first place. Look, I can return the doll to her just fine, okay? There's like no need for this. Silence! Lady Martha and I will be the judges, and that's that. I'm gonna count to three. If you don't start wrestling, I'm gonna have both of you and your families thrown in jail. One. <laughs> that was quite a scene. Lady Martha, here's your tea. Oh, thanks. Tell me, Dirtarina Bell, what's gotten into you today? Forcing two little girls to fight like that? Huh? I thought you would find it funny, Lady Martha. Only you found that entertaining, seriously. I'm relieved the little girls only came out a little bruised. You shouldn't have let that thing get so complicated in the first place. I don't think it's complicated at all. After all, don't you want girl A to become more independent from you, my princess? Girl A? Girl A. She fought well and got her toy back on her own. You should be proud of her. <laughs> yeah, you're right. 
Did you say the way she bit Rachel when she choked her? Pretty violent. I didn't know she had something like that in her. She's actually not a weak kid at all. It's about time she realizes her own strength. Actually, part of the reason I made the little brats fight was also because of the way you look at Michelle. <laughs> it's Rachel, Dirtarina Bell. So you realized? You took pity on her. It's not pity, per se. I guess I just saw my child self in her. I kind of understand why she took the doll in the first place. Did you see the way Michelle fought for that doll? Even with- Her name is Michelle! <laughs> her name is Rachel! Now you're even messing it up! Even with me standing there as the judge, she did not hold back at all. Yeah, she looked really desperate. It was because you gave her a chance. She's an orphan. She's got nothing, so she's jealous of a kid who has everything. She only has brute strength to get what she wants. But in the end, it's futile. As much as she wants it to be hers, what she does is wrong. Sooner or later, she'll have to return the things she steals. It's foolish. Lady Martha. Princess Martha pulled Dirtarina Bell in for a hug. Won't you let me stay like this for a while, Dirtarina Bell? You can hug me as long as you want, my princess. I can't believe I let trivial, totally unrelated stuff like this get me down. Say, Dirtarina Bell, have you ever missed your mom? I barely remember my mother, my lady. I was separated from her when I was little. I'm sorry, I sh shouldn't ask you about it. Do you miss the queen, Lady Martha? As much as I don't want to. Sometimes. I wonder if things would be different if she was still around. Oh gosh, this is no good. I'm gonna be a depressed bride by the end of this month if I keep on sulking. Let's play a game together to lighten up the mood, Dirtarina Bell. Okay, my lady. What game do you want to play? Something fun, with lots and lots of physical activity. As you wish, my lady! <laughs> Princess Martha and Dirtarina Bell spend a lovely while playing a very fun game together. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> playing with undies. It's getting late. Dirtarina Bell decides to go to sleep. This is so weird. <laughs> I love that the root with Tatiana is like super sweet and pure. And the, the root with... Martha has been like really innuendo heavy. It's kind of cracking me up. Aw, oh, man. You're stressing me out, little sister. Huh? Lady Martha, what's wrong? You don't usually take a nap at this hour. Uh, Dirt Arena Bell? I'm not napping. I was just lying in bed. Sorry, getting up now. Can you help me brush my hair and put my makeup on? Do I look at least presentable now? You're as beautiful as always, Lady Martha. Liar. Spent the whole day wailing inside this room. There's no way I'm beautiful as always as you say. Well, your eyes are a little red and puffy, but other than that, you look fine, my lady. Was there something wrong? What happened? I, well, it's hard to say, but well, I was heartbroken. Lame, huh? Heartbroken? Who's this insolent scum that dare break your heart? I'll get rid of them right away if that's what you want, my lady. <laughs> Wait, Dirt Arena Bell. There's no need to do that. I'm fine, don't you see? Lady Martha, I know you're lying. Please tell me what happened. What upset you so much? It's no good, huh? Nothing gets past you. It's not like I can tell you about it. Sorry, just forget about what I said, okay? Let's go outside for a little fresh air. Are we gonna smooch? It's been a while since the last time I was here. When we were little, we used to play by this pond all the time. Do you remember? Yeah, Lady Tatiana and I still come here for a little picnic sometimes. Is that so? Tatiana. Do you remember that time when I pulled the hem of her skirt up her head and tied it up? She couldn't get out of it and she stumbled into the pond? <laughs> it was so funny, the image of the usually uptight Tatiana freaking out and kicking the air and screaming before her voice got suddenly cut off when she fell in the water. Didn't you laugh at her too, Dirtarina Bell? Yeah, but I was a foolish child back then. I really shouldn't have done that. Yeah, the consequences of my actions weren't as funny. Considering how Tatiana almost died and I almost got disowned, I guess she would gladly forget everything about the time we spent together when she was when she went to Palaveron. I don't think she would, my lady. 
I still remember the time that both of you princesses would laugh merrily as you played together. After all, you're sisters. Even if you never admit it through words, I'm sure Lady Tatiana loves you very much. Do you feel the same for her too, my lady? Sisters, huh? have to admit, even when I'm mean to Tatiana, most of the time I don't think I hate her at all. I guess all the mean pranks and suffering I put her through all just stems from jealousy. Mother. Mother always loved Tatiana the most. She always looked at Tatiana, always complimented Tatiana, and pat her head. She knit sweaters and mittens for her, stayed up all night to take care of Tatiana when she fell sick. Everything she did was for Tatiana. All those things are normal, natural things for m that a mother would do for her child. But she, to me, even if I tried my best, even if I'm better than Tatiana at almost every subject, I wouldn't get any attention from her at all, not even a side glance. You know that's not true. The queen... <laughs> you know it's true, Dirt Annabelle. You're not the type to lie to make me feel better, so please just quit it. At first I thought it was because Tatiana was the first child, and she was, you know, the weaker one of the two, so of course Mother would pay more attention. But... As I grow up, I slowly realize that's not the case at all. Now that I've known the truth, I... Sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't even have been born. Lady Martha, please don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, what is wrong with me these days? Let's talk about something else. Like, how beautiful your hands are. Princess Martha took Dirtarina Bell's hand and kissed the knuckles. Oh, I don't think anyone would find my calloused hands beautiful. Then you've just found one person who thinks so. These calluses are proof that you were always there to protect me and take care of me, so there's no way I could find them ugly. And Princess Martha put Jordarina Bell's hand on her perfectly round, soft, plump cheek. Yeah, I like the way they feel on my skin. Princess Martha leaned in close and whispers in Jordarina Bell's ear, Would you mind me getting something to eat? I think I'd feel way better with your delicious cookies filling me full. Uh, as you wish, my lady. Princess Martha and Dirtarina Bell spend a lovely while eating cookies together. Ah. Oh ho 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 ho! That's totally the oh ho ho. <laughs> that is the pose right there. Oh ho 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 ho! All right. We made fun of some boys. Distressed. It was great. Um. I guess. Oh yeah. Worked hard. Oh, hello, Dirtarina Bell. Why didn't you fight back? Why didn't you call for help? If people didn't arrive sooner, you could have died, my lady. Oh, Dirtarina Bell. It's unlike you to It's unlike you to lose your sorry, I burped. It's unlike you to lose your composure over something like that. Something like that. You almost died under an assassin's bleed, Lady Martha. I'm sorry. When I saw the assassin swinging his blade at me, a thought crossed my mind. Even if I'm gone for real, it won't make much of a difference. That... Shush, Dirt Arena Bell. I know it's wrong. I shouldn't have those suicidal, self-destructive thoughts. I still have my duty as a princess, so it'd be troublesome for our kingdom if I suddenly just died before my wedding day. Lady Martha, what happened? You've been acting so strange these days. What's going on? I... Am I not your most trusted person, Lady Martha? Talk to me. I can't stand looking at you like this anymore. Uh, the thing I'm going to tell you is a secret of the royalty that only a few people are aware of. It'd be troublesome if this got out. My lips are sealed, my lady. Very well. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but if I keep bottling it up any longer, I may go crazy. I'm actually not Tatiana's twin sister. What the shit? I'm actually not Tatiana's twin sister. I'm still the king's daughter, but the late queen is not my birth mother. I'm a bastard child born on the same day with the kingdom's first princess. Crazy, huh? Just found out about that recently. My real mother died shortly after my birth, and I was taken inside the castle and raised as the second princess, all under the king's order. You know that the king and the queen didn't have the most ideal relationship. Maybe he did it to spite her, having to raise a bastard child while acting like she was its mother. My existence alone must have caused the queen so much anguish. The queen, 
She had never been cruel to me, even when she had every right to. She did neglect me, maybe, but she never refused me the right to call her mother. I was just so clueless, so childish. All I ever wanted was some attention, a gentle pat on the head, a compliment, at the very least a reaction from her. Driven by jealousy, I made Tatiana's life hell for something that I would never have. For something I never had the right to have. Lady Martha. The assassination attempts with me as the target. They're sent under the order of those noble families that know the secret. Apparently my existence alone is enough of an eyesore, a stain on the royal family's pride. If the truth about the soon-to-be bride of the Prince of Aelissa was a bastard got out, a war would very likely be unavoidable. So, it would be better if I were rid of as soon as possible before words reach Aelissa's ear. Princess Martha paused a little bit. So that's why I almost ended up dying today. Because I kept thinking, just because I was born, the Queen's life, Tatiana's, the noble families, even fathers. They're all miserable because of me. Even you. Princess Martha gently put her hand on her left shoulder. Don't you have a huge scar that goes from your shoulder blade down to your hip? You never told me, but did you get that scar protecting me? That's not the case at all, my lady. I was careless, and... Don't lie! Ten years ago, when you suddenly disappeared for a whole week after a night full of commotion outside my room, I knew something was wrong. Hm. Princess Martha caressed Dirtarina Bell's cheek tenderly. My existence is so cursed. Even the only person I love the most gets hurt constantly because of me. Lady Martha! You heard it. You heard me! I love you, Dirtarina Bell thought it was obvious. I've been loving you for a very long time. You're the only reason why I keep smiling, the one that lights my days up and guides me through the hardships whenever I'm depressed. But I know I can never make you happy. I'm pathetic, aren't I? Before she knew it, Dirtarina Bell's lips found the princesses. The only sounds in the room were of their rapid heartbeats. Dirtarina Bell could taste the saltiness of the princess's tears as well as the sweetness of her lips. She could feel the light vibration of the veins under Lady Tatiana's wrist. They stood there for a while, lips to lips. Silence covered them because in that moment, neither of them moved, neither of them breathed. They existed together. No way. Dirtarina Bell. I feel the same, Lady Martha. I love you too. I thought it was so obvious. It's not. Don't you have any idea how the fear of my feelings being unrequited had left me many nights sleepless? Oh, I, I apologize. But to be honest, the same fear had me miserable for a while, too. I've always been watching you, Lady Martha. It hurts me. Each time you berate your existence like that. To me, you're everything I've ever wanted, yet I can never reach it. A dream so far away. I even came to love those scars because it proves that your existence is so important I would trade my life for it. I'm happy. I've never been this happy in my entire life. Thank you, Dirtarina Bell. But then again, loving me is a mistake. I can never bring you happiness. I'm sorry. Lady Martha, let's run away. You and I, let's find happiness outside this damn castle wall. That... Go with her, Martha. Princess Tatiana stepped in. Tatiana? I heard it all. I think you should elope with Dirtarina Bell when you have the chance. Hey, are you kidding me? What are you even talking about? Doesn't that mean abandoning my duty? Not to mention, if I, the bride, run away, a war would break out for real considering the strained relationship between our kingdoms. Calm down, Martha. Let me talk. As you said, normally I would never allow something like this to happen, but I overheard the prison guards taking, talking a while ago. The assassin had admitted he was sent by Aelista. What? Apparently their prince doesn't want you. It looks like he has a lover back home. He was forced into this marriage as much as you were. What? So he planned to kill me off just because of that? What the hell is wrong with him? I'm offended. Don't you think it's the perfect chance to run away? Our father will hear of the news sooner or later. He'll be angry, that's for sure. Since a war is going to break out anyway, why don't you just take the risk? The off chance is... If you run away too, the two kingdoms will be both at fault. Maybe the unnecessary conflict can be avoided. That seems really unlikely. If anything, me running away will make the Aelistans angry too. Well, it's just a suggestion. In the end, it's you who decides what to do after hearing that piece of information. Very well. Let's prepare to elope, Dirtarina Bell. 
Huh? Uh, for real? This, okay, so this music in the background, I know I'm ruining a tender moment. The music in the background sounds so much like the Steven Universe music that it's tripping me out every time it plays. <laughs> every single time. Yeah, even Tatiana comes to tell me to run away herself. I'm sick of all these political affairs anyway. I'm not a selfless person. I'd rather be happy together with you, Dirtarina Bell, than stay here hating myself all day. Tatiana. Yeah? I'm not running away from the problem. I'm finding an easier way to live. If things get too much for you to handle and the kingdom needs my head on a plate, call me. I will gladly return with no resistance. Olivia's waiting in a carriage outside the castle. Farewell, ta uh, farewell, Tatiana. And... I know that words are meaningless at the moment, but... I'm sorry for all the things I've done to you. Farewell, Martha. Princess Tatiana leaned in to whisper into Dirtarina Bell's ears before she left. Make Martha happy. Protect her. Whatever happens, don't come back. Don't let her return. I'll try my best to lessen the damage and protect you two from here. Farewell, Dirtarina Bell. Princess Tatiana walked out of the room. Oh my god, we're out! I still can't believe we're doing this! Princess Martha! Hmm. Princess Martha captured Dirtarina Bell's lips before she could say another word. I love you. I love you so much. From now on, let's be happy together with whatever time we have left. Until death does us part. Lady Martha, that sounds too gloomy. Why don't you word that differently? Differently? How? Like... Will you marry me? Let's be happy together forever. <laughs> Very well. Dirtarina Bell, will you marry me? I'll make you the happiest person in the world. Yes, I will. I'll make you happy too, Martha. Thanks, Dirtarina Bell. And they lived happily ever after. Thank you for playing to the end of Martha's Root. It's a total of four endings. All right, we have one ending left.